Okay, this is the continuation of test 5, and you must watch test 5 to understand this test. The bulb from now on is going to be a visual indicator of how much energy is going into the circuit. That's it. It's not telling us how much energy, but we're going to use it as a reference point. We're always going to keep the bulb at the same intensity, and we're going to study the difference with voltage and frequency. All right? The circuit now is operating at 55 hertz. And this is the level that will keep the bulb every time we change voltage, pulse width, and frequency. All right? So right now, 50 volts is entering the circuit. 50 volts DC. The magnet is not levitating. 37.9 or 8 degrees Celsius is at the resistor and the circuit has been running for 15 minutes. The resistor is a 22 ohm 5%. 100 volts DC is now entering the circuit. Duty cycle is reset at 2.7%. The bulb filament is glowing at the same intensity than 50 volts. Therefore, the same amount of energy is entering the circuit. The magnet is not levitating yet, but is vibrating slightly more. We now have approximately close to 44 degrees Celsius at the resistor. We are now at 150 volts DC input. Duty cycle is approximately 2%. The bulb is approximately at the same intensity. And the magnet is starting to show signs of lifting. Difficult to see on the video, but I can tell a bit that it's getting closer to launching. And our resistor resistor is above 52 Celsius. All this with still utilizing the same amount of energy. The voltage input is now at 200 volts. Duty cycle is now at 1.8%. Our bulb is still at the same intensity, but you can now see the magnet actually starting to move up. It is levitating slightly off the surface. Our resistor is displaying 57 degrees Celsius. Okay, so much for all that noise. Uh, I've now changed the capacitor in the 555 circuit from our 0 0.026 microfarad, which would give us about 55 hertz, to this 0 0.001 microfarad, which is now giving us 657 so about 660 Hertz that's the one that I was using in the previous videos um, the duty cycle is at about 13 percent from what it looks like and this is what the pulses look like and uh, keep in mind that's not the coil that's just 
what's going to the uh, pulse to uh, activate the MOSFET. The other thing I forgot to mention is I have a variac now that I'm adjusting the voltage, the AC voltage going to the circuit so that I can get the voltage that I want, okay, at the um, capacitor. So right now we have 50 volts going into the circuit. Our bulb intensity is identical to the previous test. We will always keep this bulb intensity the same, okay? That's the idea here, all right? The magnet is not levitating, all right? No showing of it levitating yet. And our uh, resistor is at 51.2 degrees Celsius. Okay, we're now at 100 volts input. Our duty cycle is reduced to 7 point, probably around 7.5 because it's flipping between there. All right. And our bulb is at the same intensity. Okay, again, therefore, we have the same amount of energy going into the circuit. But this time, the magnet is levitating off the surface of the coil. All right, let me uh, poke at it here and you'll see, all right, it's floating. All right, and let's take a heat measurement. And we're at 60.7 at the resistor. We're now at 150 volts. Duty cycle is 5.8%. Our bulb is at the same intensity. And our magnet is much further off the surface of the coil. Higher up with the same energy input. Our temperature, our temperature is at 76 Celsius and maybe climbing still. We're at 200 volts, 4.7% duty cycle. Our bulb is, again, exactly at the same intensity. Our magnet is a little bit higher up off the coil once again. And I've placed this piece of black tape to keep uh, memory of its height. And we have 93 degrees at the resistor. I think you're getting all the idea here where I'm going with this. I've changed the capacitor again at the 555 and we're now at 1.85 kilohertz. So just a little under 2k hertz. Uh, we're still at 200 volts. Instead of going through the whole thing I, quickly here, I'll just show you 200 volts. Uh, our bulb is exactly again the same intensity. Okay, same amount of energy going in. And uh, the reason I put the tape on is because we only see micro changes here, but the magnet is slightly over the tape now, okay? And we're at 96 degrees Celsius, uh, approximate uh, peak temperature there. So to quickly recap here, we are, uh, I've just showed you the difference between voltage, frequency, uh, in the effect that is going on here. And obviously, uh, the higher frequencies are having a better effect, but mostly voltage as well. But always keeping the energy input at the same so that you can have a baseline comparison. Like Dr. Stifler says, it's very important we find a baseline comparison here. And this is what I'm trying to establish here as well with these tests. So I believe it'd be a good idea to stay within these norms. Thank you very much for watching.